Welcome back to Bullet, the how to play video. This is part two where we're going to go through the other three modes of the game. If you have not watched the first video where I explained the freefall mode of Bullet, go ahead and be familiar with the first one to get out the most of this video. If you're worried going to action alone, try team mode. You'll play with a teammate against another team and both of you must win together. Much of the gameplay is similar to Free For All with the following changes. To begin, players on the same team should sit next to each other and each team sits opposite of the opposing team. Team modes don't need to be timed so a timer is not needed. Team action cards will be placed on the action board and will allow teammates to help each other. You and your teammate can use these to help each other out. Pay 2 to have your teammate draw a pattern from the top of the deck, or you can have your teammate move any bullet in any direction. For this one, you or your teammate can send a bullet to the other following normal placement rules. For example, you can move this blue 3 bullet to your teammate's site down 3 spaces. For power up cards, place out 1 card per number of teams in the game. Both you and your teammates share health so that each hit by you or your teammate are added together. When you clear a bullet, they go to the heroine across from you. That takes care of team mode. Score attack mode allows you to not only see how far you can take the ever building intensity of every round, it's where you can try out new heroines and play the game solo. You can play it just by yourself or play to compete with other players. The timer and power-up cards are not needed in this mode. The rest of the setup and the game remain the same with a few things added. When you clear bullets, you instead place them next to intensity. When you draw from the center, you will draw the current intensity and the number of bullets there. After drawing, return the bullets here to the center. At the end, your score will be the number of rounds you have survived. If you're looking for a fight, try Boss Battle, the cooperative mode of Bullet. Every hero in action and unique ability board's flip side is used as the boss in Boss Battle. The goal of this game is to win altogether, but you can also lose altogether. Let's go ahead and set up the game. First of all, the timer, intensity, and power-ups are not needed in this mode. Intensity will show up on the boss's board instead. Set up your heroine just as before by selecting one, putting the AP tracker on the highest spot, shuffle the patterns and draw 3, and taking 10 bullets to your current. Each player takes 3 actions and place them on their power-up slots. These are permanent, and it can be used at any time during the heroine's action phase. If you're playing this mode solo, return those cards to the box. Now it's time to set up the boss. Select a heroine who has not been selected by the players. Flip their action and unique ability boards. Shuffle the boss's patterns. Reveal the top pattern card and then place it in the pattern area. Cover each of the boss's shield slots with a shield. Then perform any special setup the boss's UA has. Heroines take their turns first, simultaneously followed by the boss until either the heroines all lose or the boss is defeated. The heroines turns place just like in the free for all mode. What every heroine wants to do is to not only move bullets off their side, but to leave a configuration of bullets that follows the boss's face up pattern. Players do not draw from intensity during the end step and intensity does not increase during the clean up step. When clearing bullets, place them face up in the boss's incoming. Once all the heroines complete their turn, it's the boss's turn and does the following. Activate pattern. Break shield. Reveal new pattern. Heroines draw intensity. First, the boss performs the effect of the active boss pattern on each heroine who did not meet the pattern. Again, the player may not mirror or rotate that pattern. Next, total the amount of bullets in the boss's incoming. Then check the topmost shield if it breaks. To determine if it breaks, 
The series of numbers starting to the left will tell the players how many bullets are needed for the shield to break based on the number of heroines left in the game. As heroines may lose during the fight, use the number of heroines who were present at the beginning of the round. If the number of bullets meets or exceeds that number, it breaks. And if the bullets remaining are enough to break another shield, do so. Bullets that are used to break a shield are sent into the center. Any remaining bullets stay here and carry over to the next round. Before ending the boss's turn, reveal the next pattern card over. If the deck is empty, simply shuffle the cards in the discard and form a new deck. Then the heroines draw intensity based on the number of the bottom most broken shield. Once a heroine is out of life, they are out of the game. Any bullets remaining in their sight, boards, and currents are returned to the center. Remember the number of heroines affect the number of bullets needed to remove the shield the next turn over. The game ends in one of two ways. Once all heroines are lost, the boss wins. When all the shields of the boss have been removed and the heroines survive until the end of the boss's turn, they win the game. That covers the rules of bullet. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, subscribe to the Level 99 Games channel and turn on that notification bell. Learn more about Bullet and other games at level99games.com. Thanks again, and happy gaming!